welcome to our Kids Clubs Online. I'm really sad that we can't be meeting together in the church hall this Sunday, but we get to meet right here on YouTube and we get to still celebrate, still sing songs and still do craft. We've got a story and craft coming up a little bit later with Abby. But first, we need to know what the word faithful means. Do you know what the word faithful means? If someone is faithful, you know that you can trust them to be there for you. In the same way that my cat Jasper knows this platform will hold his weight when he goes up there. Hi Jasper. Parents are faithful. You know when they take you to nursery or to Nan's house or coming to kids club that they're going to come back and they're going to pick you up. You know that they're always there for you and God is the most faithful parent that we know. He is always looking out for us. He is always there for us. People who love God know that he is going to be faithful to them and they trust him to keep them safe even when things are difficult. And today we're going to look at somebody who was in a really difficult situation. His name is Paul. Now, Paul was stuck in a horrible situation. He'd been arrested and he was being moved on a boat. Now, he had a word from God and God said, there's going to be a big storm. Don't get on that boat. And Paul went to the captain and he said, Captain, there's going to be a big storm. I shouldn't get on that boat. God's told me to. But the captain said, we sail now. He wasn't listening. And he said that we had to go sailing on this boat. Now we're going to need a craft activity to tell the rest of this story. So I'm going to go over to Abby, who's going to show us how to make our sea shakers. For the shaker, you will need a bottle and some dried food. I'm going to use rice, but you could use dried beans, dried lentils, salad tape to take um, the shaker, and then a funnel to help pour the rice in the bottle so that it doesn't fall out. So I'll just pour some little bit of rice in. And this will help then create the sound. I'll just shake that. There we go. I'm just saying, I'm only going to put a little bit in, but you can put more in just however you'd like to do it also yeah so I'm going to screw the bottle and then going to tape it so that my rice doesn't fall out and to make my shake shaker look pretty or to look very decorative I'm going to choose to put um, some stickers on it but you could do whatever you like you might want to put um, tissue paper around it or um, other prop other um, material, maybe feathers, anything that you, you think will make it look decorative. So that's what I'm going to have these. Might put another one on actually. A treasure box here. So I'll put that there. So that's my shaker. Now let us imagine that we're on a ship. To make your ship you can use some cushions, that's what I've done, or anything that you can think of that well, you could use a cardboard box, but I've used some cushions to make my ship. And I'm going to take my shaker on the journey. As we were sailing on the ship, this, the sea was fairly gentle. So I'm just having a very gentle sound of the shaker. It was just, we were calmly sailing along. But then suddenly, a storm broke out. Crash. And it starts to get very, very rocket. Oh no, what's going to happen? Well, Paul trusted God to keep them safe. So he called out to the other sailors, don't worry, pray to God, he will save us. But was God faithful? Let's find out. But then the storm got even louder and the ship then broke broke apart. This was extremely frightening because we weren't sure if we were going to stay safe but we knew that 
God was with us and he would keep us safe. We had to swim to land. Some people were called to land and then we all were safe. We knew that God was faithful and that he kept us safe. Wow, what a terrific story. Thanks, Abby, for that. Did you enjoy using your shakers for the shaking, for the sounds of the sea? Jasper and I really enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it, Jasper? He's gone to sleep. Well, what did we learn from that story? God is always looking out for us. He always wants the best for us. And even when we ignore him or we can't listen to him and we have to go somewhere anyway, he's still there, ready to help, ready to save us. Right now, life is a little bit weird and it can feel like we don't know what's going on. It can feel like we're being buffeted, like we're out on the big waves. But it's really important to remember that God loves us. He's here for us and he's looking out for us. And he is as strong and as stable as this pole. And we can nap and feel safe because we know that God is protecting us. Let's pray. Dear God, please help us trust you and let us know that you are faithful. Amen.
Okay. I got some of the words wrong. Would you like to try again or would you like to?